hello everyone welcome back to the daddy cliff channel today let's look at an opportunity for you to do an undergraduate degree at daegu gyeongbuk institute of science and technology it is very important for me to indicate that this is a very important university institute in south korea and here are the scholarship benefits for all international undergraduate students who will be applying for this scholarship it says total benefit amount it is important to know that year one these are the amounts year two year three and then year four it's very important that you take into account this information they would waive your total school fees for the four years of studies of an undergraduate degree program in south korea but it is very important for you to know that the conditions for this scholarship will be highly dependent on the student's gpa so make sure you apply if you know you have a very good gpa and also if you are a science student it's very important now these are some specifics about the scholarship it says tuition fee fully waived for each semester they say for all international students without special conditions and it is going to be granted for eight semesters only so you must make sure within a period of four years you must have completed your degree program it is important to know that South Korea has two semesters per year so a total of eight semesters is equal to years of studies they say financial aid they would give you a monthly allowance of 228,500 korean won on a monthly basis it says granted for eight semesters only excluding vacation period which means they will not pay you during the vacation period that's unfortunate but it's still an opportunity for you to study in south korea the second condition says granted when gain credit is more than 10 credits it's also very important to know that when selecting your courses make sure the number of courses the total credit is above 10 for you to obtain the scholarship that is when you've already gained admission then they say here it will not be granted in case you have an improper conduct note that in case you are admitted and then you behave abnormally you might lose your scholarship they said not granted if academic probation is granted for the previous semester so if you take academic probation you might lose your scholarship and then they say international student scholarship will be offered which is 330,000 Korean won it's very important that you take into account the different types of scholarship or financial aid that is being provided and they say granted for eight semesters only including vacation so there are two types of financial aid this one and this one this one is not offered during vacation but this one is offered during vacation so you would have to take into account the type of scholarship that will be offered to you so that you would know how to plan your semester and then they will not provide it in case you have less than 10 credit it's very important that you know that once you're admitted always make sure you select at least 10 credit or more there is also the academic excellence scholarship here they say not granted for the first semester of freshman year and then also lastly there is a settlement allowance of 500,000 Korean one to help you settle once you get to South Korea and it is granted just one for all international students and then know that when you get to South Korea you would have to register for health insurance and also look for housing it's very important that you know that you pay for health insurance and housing basically this scholarship is mainly for tuition and monthly allowance they will not provide the other opportunities now let's look at the degree programs it is very important for you to read here it says undergraduate program digis holds a single major system at the first year students study basic subjects on science and engineering then students get to design their own curriculum depending on eight tracks so it is simply saying that for the first year of studies you would have to study all of these majors and then from the second to the fourth year of studies you can then select within the eight tracks you can either decide to do just physics or chemistry or maybe life science or maybe even chemical engineering you would have to decide on that it's very important for the admission timeline let's go here and look at it here the online application has already started it started on the 6th of december and will end by the 10th of january and it is important to know that the application will be taking place at studyinkorea.go.kro it is the 
South Korean government official website where you can find information on the Global Korea Scholarship, which is the South Korean government scholarship. So if you go down and click on apply here, it will take you to this website. All you need to do is look for the university's name. This is it. DG's Daegu Gyeongbuk Institute of Science and Technology. If you click here, it will take you to the next page. You have to accept this information and then it will ask you to enter your username and password and then log in. But let's assume that you are a new member. You have to click on join the membership and then you have to agree to this information. Agree and then accept that you're 14 years or higher or above. And then if you want, you can agree to receive study abroad information in Korea. It's your choice. And then you click on next. From there, you would have to select your nationality, enter your name, create a username, and then double check if it's available for use. Enter your password, re-verify your password, and then select your gender, male or female, and then select your date of birth, and then you would have to input your address, your email, and then you would have to tell them how you found the information on the scholarship. You can select social network, and then you would have to input this code and then select membership registration complete. It's very important that you go through this process when applying. Let's go back to the flyer. These are the eligibility criteria. It says here, Applicants who have graduated or will graduate from his or her high school by the registration deadline. And then you must make sure none of your parents is Korean citizen. And then there are other eligibility criteria down here that you would have to read. And then if you go this way, you would find required document. It's very important to note, like we already indicated, the application process is through the Study in Korea website where you have to create a username and then select digits like we did and then you would have to submit your application once you've attached all the documents but know that you have to go first through step three so it says attach all required documents all documents should be attached by the deadline all documents must be in english and then if any document is not in english it must be notarized with english translation you have to fill out the checklist and then they say all document must be merged into one pdf file very important and then it should not be more than 10 megabytes make sure you match all of the documents that have been mentioned out here required documents all of the documents here should be merged as a single pdf file it has been indicated here one pdf file no more than 10 megabytes it's very important that you make sure you provide all the documents that have been indicated here. I'll provide a link to this website where you can go ahead and get the necessary documents that will help you in the application. And then you can equally go ahead and click on the apply button and apply. It's very important to note that DGS or Daegu Gyeongbok Institute of Science and Technology has a policy of always accepting undergraduate students just once a year and it is always in December right up to January. So in case you miss this deadline, you would have to wait until next year. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because I'll be providing another opportunity for undergraduate students in another science and technology university in South Korea. That being said, guys, if you know you've not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure you do subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye bye